Hello everyone, this is Mike from DigiArt CGI with the second in the series of short and sweet tutorials for DAS 3D. Now in this second edition we're going to be looking at lip sync for DAS 3D and we'll be using the Anilip plugin and the video that we're going to make, the, the animation that we're going to make, I'll show you now. Hello, my name is Curtis. How do you do? So there it was, that's what we're going to be making today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Thank you. First thing you're going to need is to go over to your DAS account and search for Anilip2. Now you, this is going to cost you about $90 but it's well worth it. And once you've downloaded Anilip2 and you've installed it on your DAS desktop then we can head out of that and the next thing you're going to need is Audacity it's a free app I will leave the links as I said in the description below so download Audacity for whatever system you use it's free uh, now the reason we download or I'm downloading Audacity is because we need to uh, we need to change the audio file that you record into a WAV file to be able to use with with uh, Anilip 2. So once you've uh, downloaded that then we can carry on with the tutorial. Right then, so let's head over to Audacity first and let's record a voice, our voice. So I'm gonna, what you need to do is just hit the record button here to stop it, hit the stop button. Hang on, first of all you need to go to edit preferences and make sure your microphone is selected in devices devices at the top I'm using the my Yeti stereo microphone so it's there so I click OK <clears throat> all right so now let's record a short voice that we want one of our characters in does to to say so here we go record hello my name is Curtis how do you do Okay, so we've left click here, drag back, hit the cut, left click here, drag back, hit cut. Let's just play that. Oh, click, left click in there and then play. Hello, my name is Curtis. How do you do? Okay, so let's see how that works. So uh, we will a file export as a wave. It needs to be a wave file, so and we'll call this one hello that's already in there but I'll save it again as a different different voice it's gonna say yes click OK right and now we want to head over to DAS Studio let's click open DAS and in the frames per second down the bottom here in the timeline I like to work off 24 frames a second for animation, 24, enter, so we've got 24 frames a second there. Let's go over to, right, Anilip here, sorry. So, just so you know how to get Anilip, let's minimise that. Let's right click and close pane, so you won't have it, as soon as you open DAS, you won't have your Anilip in there. So what you want to find, an empty space somewhere, whether it's this side or that side. Right click, add pane. Analyp 2. So now you've got Analyp 2. Now smart content, let's go to figures. We'll use Curtis. Figures, Curtis, double click him. And while he's loading, what we'll do here is we will add the Analyp file to Curtis and we'll do a little bit of facial animation to make it look more real and do a, little, a few tweaks. There's, a lot, there's an awful lot to Analyp. You can do Visme animation, text to speech, even if you have a, a good text to speech program. So let's left click his head, hit the square button. That's okay. So now let's just make sure Curtis is selected. Click on Analip. So you've got text to speech, you've got Visme, but we're not going to be bothering with those in this tutorial. We're just going to do speech recognition. Left click speech recognition. Hit left click the box 
and we'll double click hello processing audio stream warning bad quality sound effect received is too loud doesn't matter just click OK let's open the timeline and then go to edit and audio now what we want to do here is click the box at the right hand side and choose the same file and open so now what that will do is that will add the audio to DAS Studio so you can hear it so let's click accept and if you play the animation now with nothing else we've done let's see what happens hello my name is Curtis how do you do hello my name is Curtis how do you do right so it's not too bad actually that that's just straight out of the box so now let's we can minimize that we don't need that pose controls here so we want to make a little bit of animation to the head as well so first of all we can left click the lower neck left click uh, control and left click the upper neck uh, let's just add a few few animations here so tiny little bit of movement five let's do a tiny little bit of movement back over here and then let's click a tiny little bit more movement tiny bit more movement again Bit. This is just just fast. I just want to make things look a little bit more real. And one more right at the end. Let's go back to the beginning. Sorry, to the beginning. And now I click on this head. Do a bit more animation with the head. So, want to look at the camera? Well, there's no camera there, but we'll do that in a second. And then yeah, we're just doing tiny little bits of animation here, just to make things look a little bit more realistic. It's not going to be perfect, but so look how that looks now. Hello, my name is Curtis. How do you do? Let's go back to the beginning again. Let's click on the eyes. Pose controls, head. Left click goes to the eyes. So now if we eyes closed. What you want to do is make sure you don't go all the way to the end because the eyes, eye, eyelids are going to go further than they should. So just forward and back, that will create a, a keyframe there. So go to frame 10 and forward and back again, create another keyframe and then hit 1, 2, 3. Click close the eyes and then 1, 2, 3. Open the eyes. Go to frame 60, create a keyframe, forward and back, 1, 2, 3, eyes closed, 1, 2, 3, eyes open again. And now let's go to just over 100 somewhere, create another keyframe, forward and back, and 1, 2, 3, eyes closed. One, two, three, eyes open again. So now 
now if we play the animation. Hello, my name is Curtis. How do you do? Hello, my name is Curtis. How do you do? Right, back to the beginning. Now what we want to do is go up to create new camera and copy active view perspective view and accept. So that's created a camera there's the same perspective view that we had before. Left click up here, click on camera. So now we're in the camera view. And now what we want to do is go to Curtis's head, left click here, his left eye, and parameters, constraints, point at, click on the none, click on camera, accept. And now the same with his right eye. Left click the right eye, point at, camera accept so now his eyes will follow the camera so even if his head tilts and turns or the camera moves somewhere his eyes will always point at the camera so now if we play the animation again we watch his eyes and they'll stay to the camera it doesn't matter where his head points hello my name is curtis how do you do hello my name is curtis how do you do Right, so we can make this a little bit better now. So his eyes followed the camera everywhere, even though his head was turning. So now if we go back to posing, uh, sorry, let's click on Curtis, left click Curtis, go to posing, expressions, and just go to the top ones which come with the program. So when he gets to number 10, just before he says hello, I'm gonna make him look a little bit happy. So. At zero, let's smile forward, backwards, create a keyframe. At frame 10, let's have him smiling a bit. Not too much. He's going to look creepy. And then frame 20, sorry, frame 30, let's bring the smile back. And then frame 50. Let's have a frown. So for, let's create a keyframe forward and back. That'll create a, cre a keyframe to 60. And the frown. Let's go into the frown a bit. And then 70 out of the frown. And then let's have, when we get to frame 100, let's do the smile full face HD. Frame forward, back, and then that'll create a keyframe there. And then when we get to 110, no, let's move all the way to the end, and then let's just do a bit of a smile like that. And then let's try that again. Hello, my name is Curtis. How do you do? Well, it's a lot better. So let's go back to the beginning again. One more thing that I would always like to do is the the brow. So let's go up to the top here. So let's keep the brow compression HD. I'll bring that all the way to the top. You might not have these in yours. I've, I've bought a lot of these things. So what we want to do here is brow inner up and down, brow outer up and down, and brow squeeze. So let's just brow squeeze, forward, back, brow outer, up, down, forward back to the middle-ish somewhere like that and brow in and up down back to the middle so let's move it to where he starts to say hello that's about around 15 let's bring the brow inner up and the brow outer up to 40, let's bring them back down again, into the middle, and the brow in it, again, and then when we get to frame 70, we can just do the outer for this one, uh, outer up and the inner down, so the brow outer up, and let's do the brow inner, down 
It's a bit sinister looking, but you get the you get the idea. And when we get to frame 90, let's bring the brow in and up down back to normal, or maybe a little bit more up. And the brow outer up down. Let's bring that back to normal. And then the brow squeeze. At that point, we'll do create a keyframe. And then when we get to 100, let's bring it all the way to the top and we'll keep it there. So, there you go. Let's bring that back to the beginning and play the animation. Hello, my name is Curtis. How do you do? Hello. Hello, my name is Curtis. How do you do? Look, this is a very fast tutorial, but you can see the idea. Not a bad program, this Anilip 2. Anyway, happy animating. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, short and sweet, Anilip 2 for Lip Sync for Daz Studio. Thank you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and also please leave me a comment if there's a tutorial that you'd like me to do in the future, short and sweet. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Curtis. How do you do?